Today's adventure starts at the great elf tree. The shooting star. With this telescope, I can see deep into space. Why's old elf? Can I look? Yes. Right now, the telescope is pointed at the moon. Ooh, it looks really close. Can I have a go? Of course. If I turn the telescope this way, you can see distant stars. Amazing! Oh, one of the stars is moving. Maybe it's a shooting star. Ooh, I can see it too. <gasps> it's going to crash into the ground. Wow, that sounded close. Let's take a look. This is where the shooting star landed. It's made a huge hole. Incredible. Look at all the smoke. It must be very hot. Let's climb down and get a closer look. No, we'll have to come back tomorrow when it's cooled down. <laughs> Morning time! Holly, breakfast! No time, Daddy. A shooting star crashed into the meadow last night. Morning time! Ben, don't you want your breakfast? Later, Mum. I'm off to see the shooting star. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Wow! What made that hole? A shooting star. It fell out of the sky. Excellent! So, what does this shooting star thingy look like? We're just about to find out, Your Majesty. Lower the claw! Ooh. It's got windows! Is it a spaceship? It's a flying saucer! <laughs> the top's opening! Don't panic yet, but this might be an alien invasion! Bleep! Bloop. Ah! Alien invasion! Alien invasion! Everyone, please panic! Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> it's the friendly aliens we met on the moon. Bleep, bloop, bleep. Hello, aliens. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Oh, look. They've got a baby alien. I am not baby. Whoops. Sorry, but you're so sweet and ickle. I am oldest one here. We get smaller as we get older. Oh, we get bigger as we get older. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Zyros. Take me to your leader. Uh, King Thistle is our leader. Ah, Thistle King. So, you are leader. Well, the wise old elf is also a leader. In a way. Oh, no, Your Majesty. You are our king and leader. Yes. We come in peace. Phew. We are here on holidays. Have you come far? We come from planet Bong. Ooh. But our spaceship is crashed. Oh, dear. You, Thistle King, must fix it. Me? Yes. As leader, you are clever and wise. Ah, uh, yes. Of course I'm clever and wise. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound good. It is broken. Maybe I should take a look, Your Majesty. Good idea. Elves are good at fixing flying saucers. And I'm an elf. Let's see. Does the engine use clockwork or batteries? Oh. It's so colourful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes and incredibly complicated... Oh, I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's cave. Gaston, are you in? This is our friend, Gaston the ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. 
What did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy! Hello, darling. Oh! It's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. No, you can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. And Elf Ben, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Ah, this is such a wonderful planet. Have you been to other planets on holiday? Oh, yes, but this is best. You see, we are quite small, and on most planets, everyone is big. I see. Yes, we go to other planets for lovely, relaxing holiday and get stepped on by big people. It is not nice. Uh, there are some big people here too. Big people here? Hello! Big people! Don't worry, it's only our friend Lucy. She's a big girl. Lucy, these are aliens. They're here on holiday. <laughs> Hello, aliens. You are big, aren't you? Are there more like you? There's my mum and dad. We're having a picnic over there. So, there are three big people on this planet. Oh, no! There's loads. Millions and millions. Most of them bigger than me. Hmm. Perhaps it is time for end of holiday. OK. Let's go and see if your flying saucer is mended. Ah, just in time. I've mended the flying saucer. Well done, wise old elf. All those tubes and things made it a bit like plumbing. And elves are good at plumbing. <laughs> Engine. Oh, that's not right. It sounds like a fairy car on a cold day, Daddy. Yes, it does. A bit of magic always helps start the fairy car. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Oh, nonsense. Sounds good. Thanks to me being an excellent plumber. Thanks to my magic fairy dust, you mean. Now, now, let's say Elf Skill mended the engine and fairy magic got it started. Hooray! Lucy! That's my dad. I'd better go. Mum, Dad, you'll never guess what I just saw. Don't tell me. Elves and fairies again. Yes, and aliens too. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, aliens. Of course, Lucy. We must leave now. Ben, Holly, would you like a little ride before we go? Yes, please. <laughs> Whee! Dear Lucy, everyone knows aliens don't exist. Ben and Holly, the aliens have to fly back to their planet. They just wanted to say hello to your parents. Hello, big people. We have just been here on our holidays. Um, hello. We go now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. I think we'll have picnics somewhere else in future. <laughs> <laughs> Time you go on holiday, you must come to Planet Bong. Okay, we will. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>
Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Lenny Plum's lesson. Holly, Violet, and Strawberry, are you ready for today's fairy lesson? Yes, Nanny Plum. <laughs> today's lesson is about who can that be? Ah, oh, Ben Elf. Hello, Nanny Plum. Is Holly in? I'm afraid Princess Holly is too busy to play with elves or insects. <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Holly. Nanny Plum's giving us a lesson. Do you want to join in? Yes, please. Actually, it's a fairy lesson. Please, Nanny, let Ben stay. But Ben's missed the beginning. And I don't want to repeat everything I've said. But all you've said is, ahem, <coughs> today's lesson is about... Please let Ben stay. Please, Please Nanny Plum. Plum. OK. As long as Ben just sits quietly and watches. I suppose even an elf might learn something. Thanks, Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're joining us too, are you? Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> now, where was I? Ahem. <clears throat> Today's lesson is about... Thank you, Strawberry. Today's lesson is about some important fairy rules. Ooh. Rule one. Fairies must look nice. Hair lovely. Clothes stylish. Skin beautifully clean. <laughs> Elves and ladybirds, of course, need not worry about such things. Rule two. Fairies should never, ever be without their wands. Who knows why? Without wands, fairies can't do magic tricks. Yes, Ben. We need wands to do magic. A fairy without her wand is like a... like a ladybird without her spots. <coughs> Nanny, Gaston's a boy ladybird. Whatever. The important thing is, fairies must look after their wands. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Rule three. If it's windy, like today... Fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. You see? Even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum's gone. Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. But we don't know how to find her. And we don't know how to rescue her. And we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. <laughs> Hooray for Gaston! There's Nanny Plum. Stage one completed. Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell. My smell? For your information, I do not smell. Nanny, we've got your wand. Holly, you know you're not allowed to touch my wand. It could be very dangerous. But we just wanted to help you. And you said a fairy should never be without her wand. 
So we're here to rescue you and give you back your wand. Well, that's very nice of you all, but... Stage two, the rescuing bit. Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. Uh, that sounds dangerous. I think I'll just wait for the wind to drop and then I'll fly down. Are you sure you don't want to be rescued, Nanny? Quite sure. This isn't quite what I had planned. But now we're all together again, let's resume the lesson. Uh, Nanny Plum, are you sure that leaf can take your weight? My weight? Young man, I'll have you know I'm as light as a feather. Now, where was I? The last thing you said was... Even I find it difficult to fly when the wind is so... Woo! That's the sound you made when the wind blew you away. Woo! Ah, yes. Thank you, Strawberry. Even I find it difficult to... Woo! Woo! At least I'm dry. <laughs> Nanny's wings are soaking wet. She can't fly. So she's stuck on that little island. Nanny Plum, are you ready to be rescued? Uh, no. I'll wait for my wings to dry and then I'll fly over to you. <laughs> I think that bird's looking for worms. <laughs> I hope Mrs Bird doesn't mistake me for a worm. Woo! 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 Oh, Nanny Plum's in a bird's nest. I'll be all right, as long as the eggs don't hatch. Oh, dear. Those baby birds look hungry. Oh, bother! My wings are still wet. Woo! Nanny Plum! It's not pleasant, but it's only mud. I think it's quicksand. Nanny Plum is sinking into the ground. Uh, Fan, I'm ready to be rescued now. Fantastic! Giddy up, Gaston! Giddy up, giddy up! Keep still, Nanny Plum. I'm going to throw this lasso round your waist. She's too heavy! Gaston, pull harder! Woo! Hooray! Ooh, Nanny Plum, you smell horrible. Well, at least no one else was here to see all that. My goodness, is that you, Nanny Plum? Uh, yes, Queen Thistle. I'm just teaching the children a few fairy rules. Excellent. And what fairy rules are you teaching? Rule one. Fairies must always look nice. Hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. Uh, yes. I've been showing the children what not to do. Rule two. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Uh, yes, yes, Strawberry. King Thistle doesn't want to know all the little details. Quite right. You seem to have everything under control, Nanny Plum. Please carry on. Thank you, Your Royalness. Did you notice that Nanny Plum seemed a bit smelly? I thought it was the ladybird. Now, where was I? You had just shouted, Woo! Uff! That's the sound you made as you landed in the mud. Uff! Thank you, Strawberry. Actually, that brings today's lesson to a close. That was a brilliant lesson, especially the adventure bits. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Ben. And thank you for rescuing me. Ah, oh, it's nice to have you back. Hair be lovely, clothes have style, skin beautifully clean. Nanny Plum... You look lovely and pretty again. Thank you, Strawberry. Now, children, what do you think I've learnt today? Um, what to shout when you fall out of trees and stuff? <laughs> no, 
I've learned it's good to have friends around when you need them, whether they are fairies or elves. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, sorry, Gaston, or ladybirds. <laughs> <laughs> 